I'm Tim Casewell and I'm building my bankroll to $100,000 so I can quit my job as a roofer and play poker full time. Ready or not, here I come. Here I me. What? Jumped out with my soul leaking. Nikki boy's been doing a lot of this. A lot of that. A lot of this about ping pong, so I'm about to smack him real quick for everything. Just kidding, we're playing for pride. Let's go. This is for 50 bucks. What the All right, game two. We're playing for five bucks. Let's go. No! Bro, That's how you lose $30 real quick. Back to poker. This donkey getting scooped. What's up, What's up, buddy? Nick. Hello. Mason. Hey, one, Mason. Two, Stop. Mason. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, Brandon. 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 Oh, hey, shit, hey, bro. hey. Every, every dollar. Every, every dollar. Every whatever you brought, done. it's mine. You're on my list. Appreciate it. All right, we hop into this 2-5 game here at Peaks at Dallas for $1,000. And in our first hand sitting down, we play a $5 PLO double board bomb pop with a $100 cap, which they do every dealer change here at Peaks. So basically what this means is everyone's just going to go all in because the cap is so small. So essentially, we're just doing a $100 flip, and I absolutely love it. Now, here's what happens. The top board comes out 3, 8, 9, 2 clubs, 1 diamond. The bottom board comes out 9, queen, 3, 2 hearts, 1 club. And we look down at ace 10, queen, queen, the ace, 10, being club. So we have the nut flush draw on top with the gutter to the nut straight. And we have top set, which is the nuts on the bottom board. So I really can't remember what happened because I started recording mid-hand. But I think I bet 15 got two callers and then someone capped it at 100. I don't remember. But myself and four other people called. So we're going six ways to two turns and two rivers. The top turn comes the six of hearts. Bottom turn comes the eight of clubs. Top river comes the nine of spades. Bottom river comes the king of spades. So we missed everything on top, but we still have a set on the bottom. And somehow our set on the bottom is good. So we end up chopping up the $645 pot, our very first hand we sit down. The very next hand, we play another PLO double board bomb pot because we're doing a dealer's choice game and the person who had the button wanted to run it back. But this time it's a $10 bomb pot with a $400 cap. And once again, I start recording pretty late. So to sum it up, we looked down at ace, jack of clubs, king, four of hearts. The top board came king, four, three with two clubs and the bottom board came four, seven, nine, all diamonds. So we have bottom pair on the bottom, but we have two pair plus a nut flush draw on the top. So when we flop the world on the top, I'm just going to try to cap this thing. And there's a bet for 90, and then there's a race to 360. And I just cap it at 400, hoping to at least one half this pot. And they both call pretty quickly. So we're going three ways to two turns and two rivers in a $1,200 pot. The top turn comes the Jack of Hearts, giving us three pair technically. The bottom board comes the Queen of Diamonds. I guess we have a straight draw to go with it now. But the top river comes the Eight of Diamonds. Bottom river comes the Five of Clubs. So we are sitting with two pair on the top and bottom pair on the bottom. But somehow, some way. We are good on the top board with two pair. I don't know how, but obviously we're chopping this up because someone else has a flush on the bottom, but I will take it. Two hands, two dubs, too easy. I'm cashing out. I'm heading to TCH to play some PLO because I'm clearly a freaking dog at it. I'll catch you guys there. Just kidding. Let's hop into some hold'em hands. And that's it. We've been playing for 10 minutes, and we're out. Nick, Mason, Brandon. We're gone, brother. Two hands. You're You're We're done. out. They canceled the stream. Three, no stream. So I'm out. Got to go. I mean, you got a bunch of really good players. Pro, pro. All right, it's time to play some Texas Hold'em. In this hand, we look down at pocket eights in the small blind. And this hand is against On Tilt Nick. I'm sure you guys know him. He's super famous, super, super pro, and super good at just donating money. And this hand really highlights that. So... Here's what happens. The donkey Nick limps in from the plus one for five bucks. Brandon, who apparently goes by Stack Hunter, which is super weird because I'm always stacking him and taking every dime he brings with him. He limps in as well in the plus two and it folds back to me. I bump it up to 20 bucks and both donkeys 
call. So we're three ways to a flop. It comes pretty good. It comes six, six, deuce, rainbow. I'm going to start out with a half pot size bet for 30 bucks and only Nick calls because, of course, Brandon falls like a scared little puppy. We're heads up to a turn. The turn is a seven of diamonds. It shouldn't have changed much, and I think we're either way ahead or way behind. So I check to give Nick a chance to bluff at it. Nick obviously takes the bait as expected, and he bets 40 bucks, representing absolutely nothing. So I pretty much snap call. We're off to a river. It's a three of hearts. Pretty much a brick again. I check, and Nick bets 20 because he loves giving me money. I obviously call, and I will cut to the table audience. So you guys can see this amazing uh, slow roll by yours truly. What do you have? What the? You are so trash. What are you doing, boy? You didn't freaking win. Get out of here. Obviously. Gosh, you're so bad. So at this point, the session is going pretty perfect. And then we look down at pocket jacks. So you already know how this goes. We're in the small blind. Brandon limps in uh, middle position for five bucks. Folds over to the cutoff who min raises to 10 bucks. Button folds and the action's on me now. Now the cutoff is probably the most action player at the table. So I don't want to go too big and scare him out of this pot. So I three bet to 45 bucks out of position. Brandon folds like a knit in the action player in the cutoff call. So we're heads up to a flop. It comes deuce three jack. We flop the nuts. And you're probably thinking, how the heck do you lose this hand? Well, I will show you how. Now, unless he has pocket twos or threes or four or five specifically, it's going to be hard to get a call on this flop. So I start with the check and my opponent checks it back. We're off to a beautiful turn. It's a nine of diamonds. It's beautiful because now there's a straight and a flush draw out there and he could have both of those holdings. So I'm still holding the nuts, boss. Which means we got to pump some money into this pot. I bet out for 55 bucks. Could probably go a bit larger, but I didn't. And the cutoff calls. We're off to a river hoping for a clean one. The king of clubs is not my favorite. It's not the worst, though, because the diamonds do miss. Now, I think his most likely holding is a busted flush straw here. So I think checking and allowing him to blast off is probably the best option here. But I went a different route uh, in my head. I was thinking if he had a king high flush straw and made top pair on the river, I can probably get paid off. But that's literally the only hand that can call a big river bet. So I have no clue why I bet, but I did. I bet 175 bucks and he just decides to rip it all in for 330 bucks. Obviously, I snap call him and tell him straight's good. And obviously he has a straight and uh, yeah, really, really play this hand to perfection. Uh, take notes. And that brings us to the final hand of the session. Now this hand happens 20 minutes after that pocket jacks hand. So I'm still tilted. I'm still mad at myself and I'm itching to get my entire stack in, but we pick up pocket Kings in the small blind. Now the $10 straddles on and under the gun, who's an extremely tight player opens at 35 bucks. The cutoff player who is the same player from the pocket jacks hand, he sticks in the call and I just flat kidding i'm not that trash folks i three bet to 130 bucks and both players call we're three ways to a flop it comes deuce six queen rainbow about as drive a flop as i could possibly ask for and i think i've learned my lesson about slow playing big hands so i see bet for 175 bucks a little under half pot and only the hijack calls and when he calls i'm putting him on a hand like ace queen or king queen suited so i'm playing in the jam just about any turn unless it's a queen king or ace obviously but of course the turn comes the 10 of diamonds. You probably thought it was going to be a queen. Nope. Safe turn. So we should still have the best hand, which means we're going all in. He only has 205 behind. So I put him all in and he pretty much snap calls. He acts to go twice, which is always a good sign. I say, sure. And the first river comes the deuce of diamonds. The second river comes the seven of hearts. We show the Kings and he gives us the good old head nod and then shows pocket tens. I cannot make this up. Except I just did, freaking idiots. Just kidding. He mucks. He later told me he had ace queen. So we scoop a massive pot to end the session, and that puts us back in the green. I'll catch you guys in the outro. To this vlog. Here are the results. We're in the game for a thousand dollars, cashed out for one thousand four hundred and fifty bucks. It's a profit of four hundred and fifty dollars, which takes the bankroll from nine thousand five hundred and eighty-eight up to ten thousand and thirty-eight dollars. I just did that math right now. Just kidding. Um, but hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one, which should be in Dallas. And then the next ones will be in Vegas. So stay tuned for those. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, peace.